The destruction of the spirit of the people of southern Louisiana and Mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. It's time for somebody to lead all of America's niggas. And by that I mean the young, the black, the brown, the women, the poor, all of America's niggas. And by that I mean if we can put the nigga vote together, we can bring about great change in this country. If we can put the nigga vote together, we can bring about great change in this country. Into the thick of the fight. Link, I appreciate your listening tonight. I ask for your forgiveness. I ask for your patience. I ask you to uphold the Constitution and the American Bill of Rights. There are difficult days ahead, and the way forward may sometimes appear chaotic. I will not relent. I will not yield the contest of will. No one can question the skill. The actions of our enemies over the last few weeks have been brutal, calculating, and instructive. One of his campaign people alleged that the president was like a puppet. I agree with him. I do. George Bush won. George Bush lost. I don't see how you can lead this country if you say war would make this world a more peaceful place. That's kind of a fucked up mentality. It makes no sense. I don't think that makes sense. I don't think it's right. It's ludicrous. The troops wonder, how can I follow this guy? I'm loath to put words in somebody else's mouth. It's time for somebody to lead all of America's niggas. And by that I mean the young, the black, the brown, the women, the poor. We can put the nigga vote together. All right, hang on. First, let me just say this as clearly as I can. Stop the killing in Darfur. Stop the killing in Darfur. These crimes are genocide. Stop the war. This week, the return of the Jedi. This administration had its chance. They have not led. We will. This administration had its moment, and President George W. Bush squandered it. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. Somebody to lead all of America's niggas. Everybody went, oop, that wasn't a popular move. But it's the right move. I disagree. I strongly disagree with that. Yeah. If we can put the nigga okay. vote together, we can bring out great change in this country. Racial prejudice is a reality in America. Pure and simple. For 200,000 black males were denied a right to vote in the 2000 election. In the state of Florida, the matter was handled in the courts and thought by some to be settled. But the matter was not settled. We have a duty to defeat this enemy. The best way to protect you is to stay on the offense. That is the best way. If we send mixed signals, if you send mixed, mixed messages, if you say we have a duty, you better mean it. Get out the word. So chaos. In a few cities, war has just begun. This vile display shows a contempt for all the bounds of civilized behavior. It reveals a fanaticism that was not caused by any action of ours and would not be appeased by any concession. The wait, the wait has been long, but it won't be long now. And it won't be long now. And it won't be long now. We believe it is a tragedy of history that in the United States, which gave the world great gifts of law and science and faith, so many have been held back by lawless tyranny and fanaticism. We believe that when all Americans are finally allowed to live and think and work and worship as free men and women, they will reclaim the greatness of their own heritage. And when that day comes, the bitterness and burning hatreds that feed terrorism will fade and die away. America and all the world will be safer when hope has returned to Washington, D.C. If we can put the naked vote together, we can bring about great change in this country. If we can put the naked vote together, we can bring about great change in this country. I beg your pardon. The game is over. Rue the day. I took it personally. The man who sits in the Oval Office is a pro, an expert, and a crank. Don't stay out too late and beyond the violence. Iraqis are proud people who resent foreign control of their affairs just as we would. We can achieve the peace we all want. One heart, one mentor, one person, and one soul at a time. And let me say one other thing. May God bless our country.